Hello, Shadowcat back with Humble October. Yes, it's October, and there is a new Humble Bundle, which means it's time for a new game. And since it is October, it's time for a spoopy game. And while the options were few, I have settled on one. We're going to be playing Ring of Pain. Now, normally, I skew more towards games with more of a story to them. This time, however, do something a little bit different. Near as I can tell, there's like no story to this. This is a roguelike, card-based, dungeon crawler kind of game. It's weird. I don't entirely understand it. However, by the end of October, I probably will understand it. Because if I don't, I don't know how I'm going to make it there. I haven't really done a whole lot of this. I've just made sure that it works. Let's get into this together and see just what it do. So this is it. I mean, there, there's like no story to this at all, except we have to keep moving forward. Now, damage projections. I have a power uh, or an attack power over here. This thing has an attack power somewhere, I think. And so, yeah, if I hit it, when I click on it and I attack it, I'm going to do two damage to it and it's going to do one damage to me. So suppose I'm, I'm assuming that this thing has a defense of one and a power of three because we have a defense of two and it's going to do one damage to us. Yeah. So we can always see what's going to happen ahead of time. Like if we hit it again, we're going to kill it. And since it doesn't get to attack back, we're fine. So we killed the rat. We got a soul. Fun times. Let's go. All right, we move deeper. So we can click on this to view stats. Oh, new stats. Speed. Okay. So I have speed four. It has speed five, meaning it gets to attack first. So it's going to apply its attack to my defense first to do two damage. And then I get to do my three versus his one, and I'll do two damage. So we just trade blows until one of us died. So he did two, I did two, he, he does three? Wow. Okay, well, I'm hurting, but we got a potion. And now I'm fully healed. Hello. Right. Oh, and then I can pass cards. Oh, a candle. Items may have stats and item effects, which you gain while equipped. A candle gives me a stealth chance. And a new stat, clarity. Uh, boost resource gain and critical hit chance. Soul gain, plus 5%. Uh, heal bonus from potions, 1. Curse resistance, 51%. Interesting. Diving deeper, challenge steeper. All right, next level. We've got a rat and a thing. Okay, so we can buff our skills. Um, we can get more hit points, more defense, more attack power. Uh, defense is our lowest skill, and I tend to run more balanced builds. So let's let's boost our defense. Now we're up against rats, and we'll take one damage from either one. And we have a choice. Stealth will ha pa help pass hostile creatures unharmed. Failing a stealth gives the creature you pass a free attack. Hmm. Well, our stealth is not great. So we have two paths. And you can see there's plenty of paths on either side. Over here, though, there's treasure. I like treasure. So you're dead. And there's the treasure. Creepy. And it just gets worse. So, um, we can get a creepy doll head. Or Amber. 
Amber will slow down other creatures, or this makes the dungeons bigger. Let's make them slower. So now we always get the first hit, pretty much. So, I'm gonna kill you. We'll get another treasure. Eyeballs gives plus one clarity on dungeon exit. Or, boots. Uh, every six attacks inflict freeze on the target. Hmm. Well, this will have a better influence over time. Let's play the long game. We'll play the long game. And we're going to go ahead and clear out the rest of these. Oh, you're tougher. It's okay, though. I think we can beat you. Ow. Okay, you're dead. We got a potion. Some creatures trigger a death effect when killed. Oh, you explode. Okay, so you attacked back, but I was able to parry it. However... If I kill you, you're going to explode and hurt me. But I can take it. Alright, so we cleared out everything on this level. We're up to 14 souls. Time to go deeper. Oh, hello, creepy bird person. Tome of Stillness. Plus one to petrify and attack. So it's like a shield, I guess. All right, level two. Right off the bat, we can get a stat boost. And our power and defense are equal. We're kind of hurting, though, so I think we'll go defense again. I mean, best offense is a good defense? And what do we have here? Treasure. We can get lucky shoes or first strike. Your first attack on each dungeon is a crit. Or lucky shoes, which will give me health and clarity. This will give me speed, but take away my clarity. I don't want to lose anything. We'll take the lucky shoes. Let's go this way. Wait. Oh, you're going to self-destruct? Ooh, okay. But here's the thing. If he explodes, he's going to do damage to me. He's going to do damage anyway, though, if I don't stop him. But not only is he going to hurt me... He'll hurt the rat and that thing back there, the rot hound. Risky, but let's do it. All right. And now, oh, he's going to attack first. Wait, doesn't this slow him down? I guess not. Um, I guess we'll heal up then first. We'll kill you and get a new treasure. Choices can be re-rolled. Re-rolling helps build your inventory. Okay. Well, we got some slippers. Gives us curse resistance. Also takes away our speed. Or a spoon. Gives us health, but takes away from our attack and defense. We don't have a whole lot of attack and defense to lose. Let's re-roll. Okay, this looks better. So, crystalline. This gives us splash damage. It also gives us more defense and health. But we've already got the amber, so I'm kind of okay with that. Or a helmet, which just gives us a solid three defense. Gotta go with the reliable. Um... There we go. I'll kill you too. Now, there's a door. Oh. Well, that's it. We have a choice. We can go one way or the other. I want to see what's down this way. Yeah, let's go this way. A reprieve. Oh, hello. So, there's a potion. Wait, what do you have to say? Oh, I can ask him a question. Who are you? I have many names from which to choose. Owl might be the best to use. I guess I only get one question? Well, I definitely don't want to attack him. What are your stats like? Holy crap, 21 physical damage. He could one-shot me. 
Okay, owl. Yeah, not not doing that. Um, a curse. So there's a 59% chance I succeed, but a 41% chance it will take away six hit points from me. I don't want that. Let's just take these potions. And we'll leave. Level three. All right. Bombs. Lots and lots of bombs. So if I destroy one, it's going to blow up the other. Is this going to kill me right out the gate? Well, I mean, what, what, what else can I do? Potion. All right, a bandana. Uh, we already have a helmet, though. So, plus four attack when your health is below 25%. But I don't want to be that low. Alternately, he wants souls for treasure. Yeah, let's do it. So we can get shorts or a jewel. The jewel takes away our health, but gives us even more speed. This will take away defense, but give me a little more speed, more health, and plus one poison on attack. Poison deals damage each turn. Poison amount reduces by one each turn. Interesting. So it's basically just going to give me plus one damage. That could be useful. And with the helmet, I think we can afford it. Let's do it. What's this? Freeze. So it's a spell, I think. Yes, yeah, spells are usable, can be cast on demand. Some have a cooldown displayed in the card. And I guess the cooldown in this is one? Cool, okay, literally. Um, so if I attack you, I do two normal damage. I guess I do one petrified damage. And one poison damage. I should kill you in one shot. I pretty much did. If I attack this, it's going to blow up, but it'll also hurt him. There we go. And now, if I can get there first... I get out of here without taking any damage. Nope, he still hit me. Okay, moving around. You're different. What are you? A Restless Triad. You're worth four souls. Wow, okay. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's kill you. There we go. You're dead. Here's another curse. And a bandana. Okay, I don't want either one of those. So, we have a choice. Which way to go? I'm gonna go through the special door, apparently. Patience. What is that? Viscid Twins. Oh, you inflict poison. That's less than nice. What do we have here? So my choice, I can get a Bright Jewel, which gives me more attack power, more health, less clarity. I'm not even sure if I really need the clarity because it seems to be good against curses and I'm avoiding the curses. Oh, but it also gives me more souls, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, either way I go, though. Um, it'll take away my clarity. So, attacks are always a critical hit on frozen creatures, and I have a spell to freeze people. Or, this will reduce piercing damage taken by two when below 25 health. So, that's very conditional. I'm going to take the Frostbite Mask. And a piercing spell. Hmm. Well, I don't want to get rid of this without using it. So let's freeze this guy. Okay, we froze him. And now if I attack him, it should be a critical. But if I pick this up, and I use this, now it should be a critical hit. So I should do minus 10 damage? And now, I should be able to just kill him. There we go. Oh, he broke into two. 
Wow, they're kind of destroying me. All right, upgrade. So I can get power, defense, or clarity. And my power is very, very low. So let's upgrade that. And there's another one. What does this do? Oh, so this is going to upgrade any one stat by three and penalize the other two. Well, I guess we'll go with power. So that makes my uh, power now my best stat. I still have seven defense, though. Not bad. What do we get here? A tainted cleaver, which gives me minus two attack power, more defense, minus clarity. Or a supplement. All jars get plus one use, because I noticed my jar is empty. This also boosts all of my stats. Let's take this. We'll kill you. What is this? Stone Shifter. 12 damage. He's going to kill me if I try to get past him. He's going to kill me if I try to fight him. And there's nothing else I can do here. I... I'm dead. Oh, I can't even try to sneak past him. I'm just dead. That's... That's not fair. All right, well, let's end it. Yep, I'm dead. Okay, though. Well, that's kind of how the game goes. It is a roguelike. You never are going to get the same thing twice. And pretty much every single run will end in death. But we reached level 3, got 53 souls, 19 creatures killed, and it took us 13 minutes. We did discover a whole bunch of new stuff, though. And every time you run the game and discover more stuff, it, it adds more stuff to the game. Should we try again? Let's try one more time. All right, so right back into it. First things first, rat. Kill it. Treasure. So we have a skirt, plus one health gain from potions or sandals. Um, also, more attack power and health. This is more speed and health. I'm going to take the skirt, even though it completely wipes out my clarity. But it does mean that I can wipe out all of these rats. We can get an upgrade. And clarity is our lowest, so we'll take that. I'll take you out. And we'll get a new treasure. So, Visionary reveals all cards, but I can see all the cards, can't I? Or the Soul Stealer Gloves. Completely wipes out my defense. Gives me more speed and plus three souls on a kill. This is gonna be stupid. I'm taking the gloves. So, I'm going to kill this thing. I'm going to drink the potion, which puts me back to full health, and now we go. Hello, owl. Rainbow socks. Gives us more attack power, more speed, more health. With absolutely no defense, we are doing a glass cannon run. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and kill you. And then I'm going to blow you up. I'll drink this, kill you. I'll take my treasure. Uh, chugging mask. Drinking a health potion while at full health will give us plus one health stat. Or bindings. Plus three, petrifying on attack if attacking second in combat. So basically, if anyone else gets to go first. And it gives us minus three speed to make sure that we definitely go second. Yeah, I don't want that. Let's go with the chugging mask. We get to upgrade something. We'll take defense because we desperately need it. 
So shorts gives us poison, we've seen that, or a stealth amulet. Or we could re-roll it. Let's re-roll. Here we go. A halberd gives us plus three attack, or fencer. Your next two attack deals half damage to the creature behind. Oh, your next attack has plus two attack. And it takes six turns to, uh, to cool down. Or I could just get the halberd, which gives me plus three attack power. Let's take the big axe. So now this guy... Killed him. Killed him. Just like that. Ooh, and that? Is it worth it? Five souls. You know what? It's not worth it. Okay, so we can go down the reprieve path. So we can follow the same paths we've done before. Okay, a cursed flask. Yeah, no. We'll just take a potion. Oh, can we talk to you again? Yes, I can talk to you again. So what happened? I found you in the shadow's hold, captive to a dream it sold. Cryptic? Let's move on. Level 3. This is where we died last time. Okay, what treasure can you give me? A skull cap, which gives me one defense, one health, and clarity, or these bindings. We'll take the skull cap. That's useful. Then, I'm going to blow you up. So that deals damage to you. Now I can wipe you out. Then I'm going to attack you. I take damage from that. A heat shield? Nullify explosion damage three times. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and drink this potion. I'll take this spell, Stone Skin. Convert one health into defense. Cool. That could be useful. There's a creature back there, a scrounger. If I hit this, I'm going to explode him. My heat shield negated it, and it killed the other one. And I can just murder you. We're going to drink this potion, which gave us more health, and we leave. A visitor? Who are you? One for you and two for me. I for value, keen I see. So, you're a shop. I can get a big potion, which in this case would just give me plus one health. I can get lucky shoes, which give me health, plus two health actually, and three clarity, or these mushrooms give me plus one health on dungeon exit, so I would get plus three health at the end. I think this is the better deal actually. Wait, item price, item set. Why does it say that my... Oh, because I already have the rainbow sock. Actually, no, I take it back. I'll take the mushrooms. See, there is a bit of strategy to this game. You, you really want to kit yourself out down here and be careful what you're building towards. And what I'm building towards right now seems to be just a speedy juggernaut. So, you're dead. You're dead. My shield protected me. It still has one use left. You're dead. I don't even need the potion right now. Upgrade! Um... I guess... My speed's already really good, but it is still my lower stat, so we'll, we'll boost speed. Potions, potions. You're dead. A stealth amulet? We saw that earlier. So, cool. What does my stealth up to? 35%. Still not great. You? You're dead. You actually hurt me. So, what is this? A shuffle prism. Strange. Another upgrade. We'll get more defense. Then, we'll drink one potion for a full heal. And this gives us plus one health. Now, one of two choices don't know where either one of them goes. 
Um, well, right is right. Right? Right. A careful maneuver. Right off the bat, there's an explosive one. However, our shield will protect us. You know, but that's the last protection we're getting from our shield. So, I'm going to kill you. Ooh. You are going to blow up. And if you do, you will do 20 damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage! Um, I'm going this way. Oh, good. He blew up and didn't hurt me. The rest of them seem to be, uh, better. I'm going to keep going this way. Wait, are you eating things? No! Okay, never mind. So, you will give me one stat and trade for others. Plus three to one stat, minus one to all other stats. And defense is an option. So is clarity. I could do clarity. Yeah, let's do clarity. Okay. Our power and speed is still good. Defense is still awful, but, you know, that's okay. What do we get here? A poison sword, plus four poison on attack, minus three to attack. So it's basically replacing my attack power with poison power. Or this, the possessed rope, minus three health, minus three clarity, 20% dodge chance though. That's actually really good. And dodge inflicts five curse to the creature dodged. I'm going to take a chance on this. Perhaps we can become a glass cannon. I'm going to drink these potions. So that boosts my uh, health way up. This will buff defense. And that is a very special mimic. However, I can't afford anything. All right. Uh, let's murder you. Okay, those are all dead. Still not enough souls. So I think that's all I can really do here. This is a pierce. Uh, your next attack ignores a creature's defenses. Or this is stone skin. I think I want the pierce, actually. All right. Next level. Level five. Ooh, right off the bat. Not great. I'm going to lose ten hit points no matter what I do. There's a thing back... Oh, that's a potion. Eh, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to get hurt either way. But I can drink a potion. I'll get a treasure. So I can get a brittle seed. Drain a creature's defense. Minus three per hit. Or... Immolation, which will replace my heat shield. This is actually a better shield, even without the effect. And 25% chance to uh, make our enemies explode. Or this thing, which will simply, I guess, just... Yeah, it'll drain three defense and then I suppose give it to me? I like that. We'll take the brittle seed. I'll murder you. And, oh my, we have options here. Murder you. Murder you. That is a cursed flask. Not doing that. Snake. Oh, I guess the snake was faster than me. Ow. Um, I can actually open both of these. Let's start with the big one. Okay. Okay. So, past card gets intimidated. Well, our stealth is terrible, so I'm not even going to bother. Or a tome. Cool. So, plus three poison to target creature, and then double its poison. Sure. And what do you have to offer? Agile boots or oil? Plus one speed for every empty inventory slot? We have exactly one slot empty. So, that's terrible. Agile boots? 
Uh, still kind of awful. Should we re-roll it? Let's try. Two tomes. And rage gives plus five attack and plus five splash damage this turn. Or siphon gem, destroy equip gem and gain its primary stats. Interesting. So I can just eat gems. You know what I think I want, though? I think I want the Enrage. Let's do the Enrage, actually. Okay, next level. All right, right off the bat, an Explodey Boy. I don't really want to deal with the Explodey Boy, though. I deal with you even less. But I think I can just murder you. Yep. Murdered. Wait. Did you... Projectile attack. <gasps> oh, that's not good. You can hit me from back there. That's really not good. Um... I'm gonna die. Unless I run for it. Okay, we're running. Yeah, Reckless is right. There's a potion right there. There's a potion right there, and we need it. Okay, we're good. I'm murdering you. You, however, are going to be a bit tougher. So, my lowest is my clarity. Let's buff that. You hit me! Oh, this is super not good. This is super not good. Am I going to die again already? I'm going to go ahead and enrage myself. And Pierce. That lets me do 14 damage. If I attack you, I can kill you. I can kill you too, but then he'll attack me. 24% chance to dodge. Can I just get past you? Nope! And I only have one hit point left. I'm going to die. Well, I'm going to die. I'm taking at least one of you with me. I died. <laughs> he got to go first. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, we made it to level 6. That's impressive. And that's going to be October. We're going to see how deep we can get into this. I don't know if there's an end. I don't suspect there is an end. But if there is, we're going to find it by the time we're done. And what's this? Unlocked Tasty Beans. Cool. So, this is Ring of Pain. Is it painful? Yes. Is it a ring? Kinda. I mean, it's kind of... It's more of a spiral than a ring, I think. Either way, though. This is going to be Humble October. I hope you're going to enjoy this. I'm going to enjoy this. And if you're enjoying this, if you like card games, if you like roguelike games, if you like dungeon crawlers, go ahead, subscribe, hit this, the subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified every time there's a new video. If you know somebody else who likes card games, dungeon crawlers, or roguelikes, share the video with them so that they can watch too. Leave a like, leave a comment down below, and I will see you back here next time for more Ring of Pain. Till then, take care.